Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are featuring the match highlight of the fourth and the final T20I match played between the Scotland women team and Ireland women team at Storm and Cricket Ground in Belfast. The update about the toss from the Storm and Cricket Ground is that the Scotland women team have won the toss and they have elected to bat first in the fourth T20I match. And now let's have a look at the playing eleven of both the team. First, let's have a look at the playing eleven of Team Scotland women. Then we have the captain of the team, Catherine Bryce, Sarah Bryce. Becky Glenn, Abby Atkin, Ramond, Aptasha Maksud, Samantha Hago, Katie McEgill, Alan Watson, Alyssa Leister, Catherine Fraser, and Megan McCall in their playing 11. Now let's have a look at the playing 11 of Team Ireland Women's for the 4020 IMS. Then we have the captain of the team, Laura Delny, Eva Canning, Rachel Delny, Georgiana Dempsey, Shauna Kavanaugh, Gaby Lewis, Lara Merritt, Skara Murray, Lean Paul, Orla Prendergast, and Rebecca Stokel in their playing 11 for the fourth T20I match. And that seems to be quite nice start from the Scotland women team in the fourth and the decider T20I match against the Ireland women team as they are hitting boundaries on consecutive basis. But the first wicket has also been gone down for Scotland women team and Ireland women team got the first wicket, the wicket of Alan Watson who has been bowled by canning on two and one more wicket this time it's the wicket of sarah bryce who has been caught and bowled by prendergast on eight and some few boundary has been hit by kathleen bryce but she also has to depart as she has been caught by kevin or bowled by paul on 22 and another wicket has been gone down for scotland women team and now the wicket has been gone in bunches becky glenn has been caught by rachel delney bowled by paul on a duck and alisa leister has also been gone on duck has been caught by mary's bowled by paul on a duck and Kathy McEgill has been caught by Kevin Orr, bowled by Rachel Denny on 9 in 13 over. A lot of wicket has been gone down for Scotland women and another wicket, Abby Atkin remote has been run out by Marys and Kevin Orr on 7, another wicket for team Ireland women. And the trend of Scotland women team of losing wicket on regular interval continues as they couldn't post a good total after batting first in the 4 T20I match and end up scoring 99 runs with a loss of 7 wicket in the 20 over and now Ireland women's team need 100 runs to win the match and also win the series by 3 matches to 1. And what a clinical performance this has been from the Ireland women team steady start to the chase as they thoroughly looking for the target and easily got there with 37 balls to spare and that is just phenomenal performance from the Ireland women team in the whole series again the Scotland women team as after losing the first match with very poor performance in that game and so the Ireland women team makes a mind blowing comeback in the whole series by beating team Scotland in the second game and they never look back after that and improving their performance match by match and at the end winning the series by three matches to one against team scotland impressive effort from ireland women team congrats on the series win what a scintillating performance they have put in the whole series